You want the best for your car? You already watch our tutorials. So the best place for the best deal is to buy from the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast and with better prices than on the website. You will find the bulk pads used in the video exclusively on the Mr. Auto website and through the link in the description. Turn your engine off. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the brake fluid reservoir. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels. Lift the front of your vehicle. To change the brake pads on your vehicle, you'll need to remove the wheels to gain full access. Place the vehicle on the axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. Don't forget to slide the wheels under the vehicle. Turn the disc outwards. This will facilitate the process. Insert a flathead screwdriver to the outer extremity of the oblong hole located on the front of the brake caliper. Lift it off using the screwdriver as a lever by pulling it towards you. This will then push the piston in. Don't hesitate to push the screwdriver further in once the space between the pad and the caliper allows. Ensure that you have pushed the piston in as far as possible before moving on to the next operation. Using a flathead screwdriver, lift the holding spring on the pads, then take it out. Make sure you keep a finger on the spring during the operation to avoid it jumping out. Remove the caps covering the slide pins. Using a ratchet and a size 7 Allen socket, remove the two slide pins. Remove the brake caliper and then unclip each of the pads to remove them. You can use a screwdriver to help you. Tip. Attach a piece of electrical cable or a piece of string to one of the coils on the suspension spring. To avoid damaging the brake hose, attach it to the suspension using a cable you have already attached. All parts used in this tutorial are supplied by our trusted partners. These partners also help us create as many video tutorials as possible. Check them out in the description below. You will find the bulk parts and products used in the video in the Mr. Auto site and in the link in the description. Take the new brake pads. Coat the end of the new pads with copper grease. Detach the caliper. Then put the pad in place on the piston side of the brake caliper. And then the other in the brake caliper mount. Now put the brake caliper back in place, ensuring that the slide pins are in front of their housing. Push them in, then start screwing by hand. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Put the caps back in place. Put the holding springs of the pads back in place. You can use a screwdriver to help you. Ensure that the spring is fully inserted into the hole. You can repeat the operation on the other side. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on and lower it to the ground.
Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in. Be careful before using your vehicle again. Start your car and pump the brake pedal a few times to bring the brake pads together again. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 50 kilometers or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation completed. Hi, it's Theo from Tool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.